Okay, so I'm just fine tuning the capacitance of this Smart Boost rotary phase. And uh, you can see I've got my voltage here. The idler you can't hear because it's inside that compartment. Um, but when I ordered this from North American Rotary, uh, well, they, uh, they also supply a motor, but I had a motor and my motor was a uh, super high efficiency, uh, low speed motor made by Leeson. It's a metric motor, inverter duty, very nice motor. Uh, although the capacitance of that was, I think a six pole motor and, uh, eight pole motor and they normally run a four pole motor so it's awful quiet and so the capacitance isn't the same now the red wire is actually the red uh, from the three phase and the capacitors feed the uh, the blue or the in this case the white the generated leg and originally they had 300 microfarads on the red and only 25 on the black. I've now got 175 on the black and 175 on the red. And these are, these are my voltages. Um, you can see this is my native voltage, which is T1 and T2, which are, you know, the, the single phase legs. And these are my, uh, uh, these are my capacitor legs or the ones that are feeding the generated leg and they're a little high they're currently about 20 horsepower higher but they'll drop and what we have to do is we, we have to balance this system for the hardest starting machine and that would be this baby right here and so uh I'm going to uh, press start and show you what happens to the voltages. Now, what's cool about this particular rotary phase, not to be mistaken with American rotary, this is North American rotary phase and these guys are pretty swift. You'll notice that there's a huge coil of wire up here, which goes through this little potent voltage potentiometer. And what that does is that reads the voltage drops on the legs and engages the start capacitors that start my idler. And you'll hear them, they'll go bang, 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 and they'll they'll bring online. And as the as the speed of this motor comes up to speed, you'll see that. Uh, luckily I ordered uh, two 25 microfarads and two 50 microfarads, and I'm left with the 100 I took out and 125, pretty cheap. I knew there would be a problem. So how about I start the rotary and then run over here and show you the voltage. Now, this machine's considerably a hard start. It's a big, huge cast iron disc and a very slow uh, speed motor for, I mean, this is a four horsepower motor. Uh, so, you know, it's it's got a lot of poles. I think it's an 800 RPM motor. So. Once again, I'm going to start that. And what you're going to hear is you're going to hear that if it's hard, it's going to start throwing it in. So uh, you'll, you'll see it. It'll, it'll, it'll go boop, boop, boop. And what it's doing is contactors are opening up and allowing the start capacitors to actually help engage the starting speed of this. And originally, my first try at starting this was 27 seconds. I did some capacitors on the other rotary phase, that's, which this shop used to run on. It now has its own in this one right here. And uh, we went from 27, I think, to 19. So I'd like to time it with this smart boost and see if my machine comes up. Anybody who's been to the rest of us saw that. It takes a long time to get up to speed. And the reason is, is that cutter block in this 26 inch wide head is, uh, well, the weight of my wife. So I'm spinning my wife up to uh, 4,000 RPM, 4,200 RPM. So, you know, not that she needs to boost it, but uh, so I'm gonna push that. We're gonna run over quickly and look at the voltages while it's, while it's doing it. Okay, the 
Did you see it? Drop the voltages on those legs. And so what are we at now? That's not the hardest starting one, but our native voltage is 229. We're 234 and we're 231. We're within five volts. That's outstanding. Considering that I'm running this through a transformer, I want those to be very, very nice. It's an auto transformer 600 to two, or 240 to 600. So we'll be a little low on our 600, but we only have to be within 10% of the voltage to be okay. Much of my machines are rated for 550, 575. So I haven't checked the voltages on the transformer side, but there were no taps on the on the transformer I got. It was only a single tap, 240 to 600. So now we're gonna shut that off and try the big one. Okay, so I'll run around there and we'll watch the voltage. This is the hardest one. This is the one we want to get our closest balance. So I'll do a run around. She's a kicking her in. That machine normally took 27 seconds. And let's check out our voltage balance here. Jesus Christ, that is absolutely perfect.